good morning students today we are going to discuss about the modern construction materials as we all know there are variety of modern construction materials being used nowadays and they are used mainly due to its ambience cost reliability durability friendliness and easy to adopt technology some of these materials are architectural glass ceramics plastics composite materials thermal and acoustic insulating materials decorative panels waterproofing materials today in this part 1 of the presentation we are going to discuss only about architectural glass architectural glass architectural glass is used as a transparent glazing material it includes the windows and the external walls it is also used for internal partitions and as architectural feature the different types of architectural glass are normal or annealed glass laminated glass tempered or toughened glass heat strengthened glass reflective glass and insulating glass so firstly let's see what is normal glass or annealed glass it is in the form of float glass which is perfectly flat with brilliant surface or sheet glass with distortions it is mainly used in residences shopping malls hotels etc for windows shelves doors partitions etc it is also used for solar applications the different types of normal glass or any glass are clear glass tinted glass patterned figured or rolled glass wired glass extra clear glass or ceramic printed glass clear glass as you can see from the figure they are clear and transparent with greenish tint the greenish tint is mainly due to the presence of impurities such as iron these are used in doors windows and for solar applications next is tinted glass they are colored by addition of metal oxides into molten glass it reduces eye strain it tint like green allows visible light but cut out infrared radiation it is used in doors windows and partition next is patterned figured or rolled glass they are decorative and translucent glass with figures or patterns on one face they are fragile and less convenient to clean they are used in interiors of buildings or pack glazing like bathrooms next is wired glass these type of glasses are incorporated with wire mesh it has fire protection property they are used when fire protection is required for windows doors partitions etc next is extra clear glass these type of glass are extra clear mainly because they are free from impurities such as iron they have high light transmission they are used for display of jewelry watches crystal ball etc and showroom next is ceramic printed glass a part or whole of the glass is masked for privacy they are not affected by moisture oil soaps chemicals or detergents they are used in shower installations partition walls etc so till now we have seen the various types of normal glass or annealed glass now the second type of architectural glass is laminated glass it consists of two or more layers of glass with one or more layers of transparent and specially treated polyvinyl butyl or pvb sandwiched between glass layers when the glass is broken fragments tend to adhere to the pvb it reduces risk of injury it also acts as a noise barrier it resists bullets or small explosions it is used in office buildings hotels museums airport terminals recording studio high security places etc
the figure here shows the crack pattern in laminated glass as compared to the other glasses. For example, anneal glass, it breaks easily producing long sharp splinters. Whereas tempered glass, it shatters completely under high levels of impact energy and few pieces remain in the frame. As compared to these two, the laminated glass may crack under high pressure, but it tends to remain integral, adhering to the plastic vinyl interlayer. The third type of architectural glass is tempered or toughened glass. The tempered glass or the toughened glass is produced by heating them to a uniform temperature of approximately 650 degrees Celsius and then rapidly cooling to induce compressive stresses of 770 kilogram per meter square to 1462 kilogram per meter square on surface. It is four to five times stronger than the normal glass of equivalent thickness. It is used for safety and strength. It is mainly used in entranceway, railings, partition windows, escalator side panels, sliding door, handrails, etc. The next type of architectural glass is heat strengthened glass. The figure shows the breaking pattern of the heat strengthened glass as compared to the tempered glass. You can see here that the heat strengthened glass breaks into only three to five pieces, whereas the tempered glass gets shattered. The heat strengthened glass is a type of tempered glass which has been strengthened thermally by inducing a surface compression of 422 to 658 kilogram per meter square. It is used in spandrel, curtain walls, etc. It is used for laminated glass panels for safety combined with strength. Next type of architectural glass is reflective glass. The reflective glass has a metallic coating applied to one side to increase the reflection of both visible and IR radiation. It reduces the air conditioning load of buildings. The coating can be applied to clear or tinted glass. Coating of metal oxide is achieved without affecting the transparency of the glass. It is mainly used in office buildings, high-rise buildings, privacy windows, etc. Next type of architectural glass is insulating glass. The insulating glass has two or more glass panels separated by cavity and edges sealed together. Spacer ensures the precise distance between the glass and it is made of aluminum, composite plastics, etc. It is used in office buildings, hotels, airport control towers, windows of coaches of train, etc. So that's all about architectural glass. In the upcoming parts, we'll see the other types of modern construction materials. Thank you.